Today we're going to be going over a demonstration video on how to use Dragon in the gross room. So what you're going to see is one of our tissue techs grossing in real time on real patients and then you're going to mostly see on the big screen of me going using Dragon on another computer having Dragon run through test patients on test copath. I will have to pause um, the video here and there um, throughout the recording because of how quickly Dragon moves I'm going to try to explain everything that's happening um, while it's going but the important part is to see that not touching the keyboard or a mouse through any part of her grossing. So in the first part here we're going to see me uh, calling a command start dictation. What that's going to do is going to start up Copath and ask me if I were my NUID. This is part of Dragon, this dialog box that's written. That's part of the advanced scripting. And it's going to ask me for my password. If you look, my password is secured by going, putting bars in there so you can't read what the password is. I entered an incorrect password there in order to show um, how Dragon will go back and ask you for your password, NUID and password again. So once we start, we come up on the top left. And again, that's her grossing in real time. I'm going to pause the video here real quick. So just to explain our setup in our grossing room, we have two scanners that sit on there. We have two computers and two scanners sitting on our grossing station, along with formalin filled containers in front of her, and then our formalin recycling container on the left of her. Um, the scanner on our left is connected to one computer and connected to Copath and Word where the dictations will be done and Dragon will be doing the menu navigation. Whereas the scanner on the right we have set up for changing the block status to being transit. And you're going to see that I'm not clicking anything on the main screen on Copath and what it's going to do is going to bring me into histology data entry automatically and then she'll be able to scan with the left scanner the barcode into Copath and then we'll write into the um, into Word. We'll go into the case. So through that, I'll guide you through what's happening exactly when she does have it scanned. She sees scans here, goes into dial Dragon's dialog box, then gets inputted into the specimen number in histology data entry, moves into histology data entry window, prints out the cassettes, which you can see on the top left. And from there, it moves us into final entry edit diagnosis automatically places in microscopic examination is performed and then she's going to read um, a can dictation of uh, 0 0.8 milliliters for an EMB uh, specimen and that's all going to automatically go in there when she calls the command then she's going to say next case and it's going to move us into the next case one important thing to see here is that this is only a single part case that there is no A and B, and there's no A and B on a microscopic examination performed. That'll be important for the last case. So moving along here, she's going to scan on the right scanner, put it into transit status, and they say next specimen. She's going to move into the next specimen. Again, she's going to scan into the left scanner to go into the case. Move into histology entry edit, print out cassettes, Move into final entry edit, move into Word, microscopic examination is performed. Scan ultrasound guide at 3, 0.3, 1.0, right breast, line of clock. Says her can dictation. Scans her cassette, next case, moves us back into final diagnosis entry edit, moves us back into histology data entry, ready to be scanned for the next specimen. This case is going to be a little different because it's two parts. So Dragon will recognize that it is two parts and then change the word scripting by itself. So here you can see that it is two parts. Microscopic description changes from A to B as microscopic examination is performed. Gross dictation now has two parts with brackets available on it. There is also a formatting that will happen that will change the amount of spacing between lines and Dragon does this all automatically.
And then you'll also see that once part A is done, she does not have to say next variable. She moves the dragon will move her to the next variable automatically. Transverse colon biopsy. Okay. Does her next case, scans her cassette, places it in farmland, next calls case. next case. And now we're gonna lose her. And it's gonna continue on because when we finish our she wasn't finished grossing, but on my computer I can show that that's the end of the demonstration by when this specimen is designated. There's a third button that says end section. When I press that button, copath is closed down and dragon is closed down automatically. So this is just a short view of one of the things. This is actually two scripts that are created that we've created in advanced scripting, um, start dictation and next case. And there are other ones as well, but this is the most be used in our grossing department. She didn't have to touch the keyboard or a mouse at any part during her grossing. And that would be the end of the demonstration.